Moshe Rabbeinu could come down and split the sea a hundred times. And it would pale in comparison to the fact that you and I are sitting here as Jewish people. It shouldn't have happened. We should not be here. We have gone through 30 centuries. If you start from Abraham Avinu, 40 centuries. With the world trying to destroy us. Destroy us! At every single point. We don't realize what it means to be sitting here. To be able to consider ourselves Jews. To speak of what it is that we're speaking about tonight. What it is that Jews across the world continue to speak about. Our people have been practically everywhere on this globe. With everyone trying to destroy us. And we're not just surviving. We're writing, thinking, and publishing. Wherever we are. The Torah has been with us throughout the entire time. That is, without question in my mind, the single greatest miracle that our people have ever witnessed. You and I are the living testimony to the miracle. So you know what that brings? It brings a tremendous amount of uneasiness to us and to everyone else. Because it's not just that we've been around for 3,000 years. Guess what happened? We came back home. We haven't been home for 2,000 of those 3,000 years. What were the odds that we would forget about survive, but we've survived it, and now we've come back home. So we have an address now on the planet, and no matter how far you dig down in that land, whatever it is that you find has our name written all over it. It's a little bit unsettling, because you know what it means for us? We're real. I tell you what I consider the greatest miracle in history. Not Kedi'at Yamsuf. For me, it's not a great miracle. Why not? The man, 40 years in the desert, not, not great miracle. Esther Makot, from my point of view, no miracle. Why not? Because Bore Olam is doing it. He's almighty. Look at the stars, the Kohavim, the galaxies, it creates everything. What is for Baraam to split the water? What is it? Nothing. What is for Baraam to, to, to uh, uh, shower us with man 40 years? Nothing. From the point of view of Baraam, is nothing. But I tell you what I consider, I consider the greatest miracle in history. You and I are talking together after 2,000 years. Eres Israel was conquered, Bet Amigdash Lo Alenu was destroyed, the Jewish people slaughtered, <coughs> scattered throughout the world, and here we are again together, Eres Israel, Medinat Israel, we hope for Mashiach Zekeno. This is a miracle. I tell you why. It's not made by the Oyalam, it's made by finite. People, frail people, people that are just humans. And they did it.